Today we're checking out the Foxeer H7 flight controller, which powers up to 8S. Guys, welcome back to the channel where you can find all types of source information for FPV drones. Today we're checking out a brand new product for your custom FPV build. If you thought about getting into FPV drone racing or freestyle or long range, this is a good start. Even if you're doing something as large as X-Class, which has giant 8S power batteries on there, this one will support that. It also has dual BEC and a barometer on board. So let's check it out on the bench and let me show you what Foxeer's brand new offering is to the FPV community. All right, guys, there it is on the bench. But, you know, I have to tell you about our FPV fighter tournament that we have here on the channel. Each week we go through a new round. We live stream usually on Fridays or Mondays for your new videos. If you submit your video, you have a chance to win cash and prizes from uh, certain FPV companies in the FPV community. So that's a lot of fun. And we live stream your video. So if you'd like to have your video seen, it doesn't matter what kind of pilot skill you are or whether you're a pro or an amateur, you can enter it as long as it's from the same week of the competition. You can check that out in our Discord link in this video description. But today we're here to talk about the Foxeer H7 MPU 6000, brand new 8S dual BEC barometer capable flight controller that is on a 30 by 30 setup here. And we have a lot of options to get into on this one. If you're building your own quads, this is a great upgrade. You may have seen in previous flight controller flights uh, lives past say the f4 and the f7 well this is the brand new h7 which is supposed to be pretty nice so as we test these coming along in the next few months you'll find out how these are working out for the guys especially again if you join our discord server but let's go ahead and jump right into this um, and before we get too far i have to let you know that this can support some analog and it can support the DJI connector. So uh, it does have a DJI connector. You can plug it straight into your DJI VTX 03 or otherwise, and you can do some FPV. Let's go ahead and check out the board and what's in the box. Now for around $104, you get the flight controller, you get the wire harness and some extra rubber standoffs. The wire harness does plug into the HD port right here, which also works with HD zero. If you choose to wire that up, it will support HD zero and DJI VTX is including Cadex Vista air module and the new O3 module. Now let's go ahead and give you a quick rundown of this flight controller and let's talk about who it might be for. This flight controller might be for guys that are doing bigger builds, something like a 6, 7, or even 8 or 10 inch build. Uh, in our forum in the Drone Camps FPV community, we have guys talking about 10 inch models coming out, uh, larger frames are coming along. And for those builds, this does support GPS and the HD systems and, and also analog. So I think that's kind of cool for the community. Now it also can support up to eight motors. You have uh, a, a tab on this side, which can connect to your ESCs. And just underneath that, if you don't have the correct harness for that, you also have ports on the bottom to solder directly to, which is super cool up to that motor eight. So um, that's super convenient because if this breaks off, which has happened to me before, you have options underneath here. So that's really great. And you have uh, M7, uh, M6, all the way through M8 on this tab over here. So once you run out of one, two, three, four here motors, you can run all the way up to six, seven, eight right there, which is super cool. We also have spots for analog video. So if you're running your video wire in from an analog receiver, a VTX, you can run it in right here where it says VTX on the video signal there. We have ground and positive right there. We also have our UARTs on here. We have our 3 T3. We have our 2 T2 5 volt here, another ground T4 and R1 and a 3.3 volt in case you have an older spectrum style receiver that needs a 3 volt power source. It also has LED lights on here indicating the flight controller status as well as your boot button here and a USB type C port right here for beta flight. And over on this rail here, we also have support for GPS over here, SDA, SCL, ground five volt. We have S2 there, S1. Um, we have R6, T6, six or five volt, five volt LED set up right here, two grounds, uh, M8, seven, 
six and five motor tabs right there for signal. Now this harness at the very top of the flight controller is where your ESC harness can go in and we have the current voltage regulator there. We have R8. Uh, we also have motor M through four right there, one through four ground and VCC for powering this VTX as well. So uh, that's kind of nice. You have current regulation, but on the bottom right there, also we have tabs in case this breaks, if this ever does, you have an optional tab on the bottom to be able to solder to. And that's what, that's what I love when, when companies do this for us. They put in one through four there, um, current regulation and R8 there, as well as camera control and other VTX options there. We also have VCC and ground on this tab. And like I said before, you can run this board on four to eight S power, which is pretty intense. So you're going to have to find an ESC four in one setup or singular ESCs to be able to support up to eight S. Uh, and you have to find motors that are rated up to eight S. So if you're not very familiar with building uh, a freestyle quad or even uh, an X class style quad, something running eight S, make sure that you read carefully all the specs before you try to just plug in an eight S battery to any old motors or any old ESC. Um, but if you're building quads up to this point, you probably already know that. Uh, I did recently see a really cool video from Rotor Riot that was an 8S freestyle drone. So um, I th I thought that was pretty cool. I, I need to maybe possibly build myself one of those. Maybe I'll do it with this flight controller. But if you like this one, you want to give this one a try. This is just another new product that's brand new on the FPV market. So you guys can check this one out in the link down below and pick one up and let us know in the Discord if you built one of these, if you've flown it and what you think about it, make a comment on this video. And if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up for this overview and just quick mini review of the brand new Fox Air H7. I, I think it's a pretty nice looking flight controller. Uh, and my final comments are that I, I think it's going to be a great build to do. I think it looks relatively easy with a lot of options on it. And I also like the fact that Fox here put holes through the tab. So kind of like a more old school, traditional type of flight controller, we have wire option to be able to, to put it down through that hole with a little more stability for our build. So um, it'll just make it a little more rigid. Uh, that way it won't uh, come apart or, or you're not less likely to have tab set separation uh, when a wire gets knocked or uh, moved by a, a crash. So uh, always double check your wires and everything. If something's not working, please use a smoke stopper when you do your builds. So if you don't know what a smoke stopper is, I'll try to put one in the links down below. And uh, good luck with your builds, guys. I'm Justin Davis. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.